Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back for another week, as well as a new book as we continue on on our journey through the New Testament. Today we're starting in on the book of 2 Thessalonians. This is actually the second letter written by Paul to the church at Thessalonica, picking up from where 1 Thessalonians left off. Shorter book, but still tons of great stuff. Let's kick it off. This is chapter one. <music> Well, as always, before we get into the book itself, let's go over the backstory of how and why it was written. So 2 Thessalonians is believed to have been written within several weeks of when 1 Thessalonians was written. So this puts the date of the book at about 50 AD, and as most of you would know by now, the author of the book was the Apostle Paul. Now, 2 Thessalonians was really written as a follow-up to the first letter to help the church better understand the return of Jesus. So Paul makes reference in this book to some erroneous teaching that had entered the church, seeming to claim that the return of Christ had already taken place. Now, whether this was claimed falsely by someone on their own or in a letter falsely attributed to Paul, we aren't sure. But Paul's response was writing 2 Thessalonians to quickly correct this misunderstanding. So opening up in the chapter, Paul proceeds to give his typical greeting, but then goes into a topic on the final judgment and glory of God. So look at the opening in verses 3 through 4. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting, because your faith grows exceedingly, and the love of every one of you all abounds towards each other, so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your patience and faith in all persecutions and tribulations that you endure. You know, even though the Thessalonian church was growing and thriving, they also had to deal with persecution, a thing that Paul himself was very familiar with. Now, the fact that the Thessalonians are increasing in faith and love while bravely enduring this persecution is clear evidence that God is working through them. You know, one day this situation will be reversed when the people persecuting will themselves suffer the same thing while those persecuted will find rest. Look at verses 6 through 9. Since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you, and to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire taking vengeance on those who do not know God, and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. God doesn't forget. He sees what people are going through, and someday he's going to level the playing field. Listen, there are a lot of people out there today, even in the church, who think that hell is not a real place. It's some kind of, you know, metaphorical term that God used to describe the absence of his presence. And while, yes, it is the absence of God's presence, the Bible makes it clear over and over again that hell is a very real place and location. And it's not just the fact that it's real, but also that it's eternal. Finally, look at verse 10. When he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe, because our testimony among you was believed. When he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired among all those who believe because our testimony among you was believed. Christ has not yet returned, and to this day we are still waiting for his coming. Now Paul is reminding the Thessalonian church of this fact while also correcting the false doctrine that had tried to enter the church that Jesus had already returned. Now in the next two chapters, Paul's going to lay out even more things to come in the future before Christ's return. We'll be going over all of that starting tomorrow. All right, guys, well, that's another wrap for us today with chapter one. Two more chapters still to go in this one before moving on. Thank you as always for being here. So glad you decided to join us today. Come back tomorrow again for chapter two. Until then, you all go out. Have yourselves a beautiful day. God bless you all. See you back here soon.